Well, we've got our first big break through the hot wire. And it ain't pretty. Oh, look at this cheap post. The Big Joe Hurt is not where they're supposed to be. Hey, Jackie. Good morning. Hey, Eleanor. Hey, pretty girl. I see you. There's our princess right there. Oh, we got a little rolling going on. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Hello, hello. Miss Texas 11, you big old cow. Here's our beauty, Belle Star. Hey, Belle. You're looking nice and plump, girl. Hey, guys, welcome back to Cross Center's Bison. Thank you guys for Bison Ranching with us today. Well, when you come and check the herd and you notice they're not in the pasture they're supposed to be in, that's what's going on right now. We also want to thank Element for sponsoring today's video. Hey, pretty girl. The Big Joe herd is in the wrong pasture. And so what that probably means is we've got some hot wire issues. Here's the good part is the bison are here at the Ponderosa on our property. They're not out roaming around. So the thing about this hot wire and why I'm not freaking out right now. We, Marissa and I've got some stuff on the agenda to take care of before I dive into this hot wire system right over here. If you guys noticed recently, Marissa and I started a hot wire system. First time we've ever used hot wire. We knew what we were stepping into and we knew we were gonna face some challenges. Here's the first big major challenge. What we did on that pasture was we took a 40 acre unit and basically split it in half is all we did. So it's just a cross fence and we're using hot wire for the first time, trying to train the big majestic animals like the Texas 11 here and our new bull. Can't wait to go down the pasture to see what kind of cluster we have. It's gonna be great, I'm telling you. You guys, hold on and get ready. We've got cabin stuff to do today. If you didn't know, Marissa and I have a cabin rental property here located near Lake Arbuckle here in Sulphur, Oklahoma, not far from the Bison Ranch. We're gonna go visit the cabins. We'll show you a little bit of that. We're gonna go get some feed for our yearlings that are getting ready for a sale. That's coming up here in about a month. We're so excited and it's right here in the state of Oklahoma at the OKC State Fairgrounds. If you're interested too, by the way, you can come to that. We're gonna come back, see what kind of cluster we have, and then we're gonna dive into this hot wire system together and what repairs we need for our first blown out disaster. On it. Yeah, need a little uh, something else. I mean, it's not two and a half more picnic tables to Cabin projects are fun. As I get older, I think about things like this. Um, it doesn't matter what age you are, but now I'm getting pretty close to 40. I think about this a little bit more. My coaches were always right. It's so important to rehydrate before you get to practice, not, not right before practice or as you come into practice or during practice. You got to hydrate before we spend so much time outside, Marissa and I do. Whether it's on a tractor or we're at the cabins, wherever we are, if it's at the ranch, I always carry a jug of water around with me and it's easy because you can just pop the element in whatever your favorite flavor is. If you want to mix it up, mix it up. My coaches were right and I think about that now is you got to hydrate before and I'm still bad at it. I know I still am. We, we all are, but we all get tired of drinking water. I mean, it's, it's that simple. We, uh, you know, there's no flavor in water. We know that's the best thing for us uh, out there, but you some sometimes you need a little extra and you know like as an athlete or as much as we sweat and we're outside and losing all of that you've got to have some salt back in there and this is good salt this is the stuff 
th that you need in your body. You can't just have water. I have learned that. You've got to have more than just water. It tastes good too. That's a, that's a great thing about it. And I'm put some of my favorite element in here. Even as it gets down, just add more water. When you add more water, you're still getting the same flavor. And it's great stuff. So with Element, you can get there and you can get there a lot faster. And uh, you're getting a little more punch in there with you to go along to stay hydrated and uh, to keep you going for sure. All right, guys, here's what we got for you. Get your free Element sample pack with any purchase right here at drinkelement.com slash bison. Use the link right here, guys. And with any purchase, you're gonna get a free Element sample packet, which is a great way to start. And you can try all the different flavors and pick your favorite one. Something also exciting is you can try a bold 16 ounce can of sparkling electrolyte water. All right, guys, try Element today. Totally risk-free. If you don't like it, they'll refund you. No questions asked. Well, we've got our first big break through the hot wire. And it ain't pretty. It is not pretty. Got T post knocked down. The whole thing's pulled off of the beginning of it. Insulators off. I mean a cluster. Cluster. They 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 went through it through it. There's the reel. Yep. That goes way over there. Got some work to do. Was it your fault, new bull? Whose fault was it? Big Joe? So since the fence was already torn down, I went ahead and I wasn't gonna fight them right now. And my focus was try to put the pieces together on this hot wire. So I wasn't going to get in their way. I was going to go ahead and let them cross the fence. And I was hoping that the whole herd would eventually go to one side. But that didn't happen. So they end up getting split into two halves. But I had to make sure before I started really stretching this fence, I had to get them all on one side of the fence. So this was getting a little more complicated than I wanted it to be. So right now, I've been trying to stretch it, splice it back, just the top wire so far, but right now the bison are split. They're in pasture four, got some in pasture three. I really need to get them all on the same page. Hey, Christy. they would all go to the same side I wouldn't I can go ahead and stretch it and turn the hot wire on but right now that's uh and it's laying down right over there so they're kind of moving that way Eleanor's back here behind me but she's poofy 1508 is she may have a late calf. I sure hate for her to do it when it's hot, hopefully in the fall when it's a little cooler. But right now they're going through it right over here in this spot. I'm gonna put a little more pressure on and try to keep them going so I can go ahead and splice it. So it's pretty much all the way down to the ground right there in that one spot. I have to back, give them some relief, not force them because they'll just destroy it more. But if you just give them a little time, they can see it, step over it, jump over it, whatever they need to do. And we've got some that are afraid to jump it. And they found another path. And just like that, she got it caught on her foot and it pops and moves everything. I couldn't get this one out a while ago either. She had a hard time. She will clear it at that time. All right, we got everybody but Eleanor. 
Um, I'll open the gate for Eleanor and she'll she'll find her way to it. Dang. What a mess. Need another T post here. There's one T post right here. Look at this dude. It just broke. There's the two insulators to it. That T post just snapped in half. Somewhere along here. Good thing is, is it's in the ground and not stubbed up. Just snapped. All right, so they're all back over here. They came up to visit me when I pulled up and uh, we're just interested in what I was doing. There's an insulator. And now they've kind of gone back. Should be that time of the day where they should lay down. It's getting warm. So we shall see. Now I'm gonna stretch it, try to get it pulled back together. So we've got a whole mess here. See how far this goes. And pull it until it stops. You know they do so much just by hand. They have to get the come along out. So there's some it's a stopping point. We still have a little ways to go. Now we gotta go see where the issue is. I mean, we're, we've only got one line here. The other one is completely gone. It's great. There's an insulator. Well, here's the beginning of number two. Actually, this is our top line. There's our bottom. Well, we made it this far. At least the spider is successful today. The spider's got a grasshopper in his web. Things are looking up for him. He's got two. That's exciting. But another positive is made it all the way back to this. So, yeah. This is how these work. I'll pop this back up. Put it in there. This is our fresh train insulator stayed on, which is good. This one came from somewhere. Flag still on there. So they can see it. That worked out real well. this t-post wow <sighs> there's some definitely some stuff that happened in here some rough stuff happened so it, more than likely here's what I'm gonna guess is because it is breeding season will say that Big Joe is in another mood right now. He's in a whole nother thinking process. He's in a whole nother uh, protection mode. Uh, he's trying to cover these females. And uh, he's also got a 
challenge uh, to keep another bull away. So that is probably what is happening here. Got into a little scuffle, something, and it's a little jolt. It doesn't take much of uh, something to happen. I mean, that one's loose because they ripped it off. So, okay. We're sort of back to normal here, but I see a whole bunch of it spiraled out there. So here's some that made it to the party. There's a flag. All right, we're gonna give her a little check here after setting it all back up. Let's see what our deal says. There you go, that's what it should be. Perfect. We're back in action, folks. She's hot. Hi right, guys, I wanna thank Element for sponsoring us today. Here's your chance to get your free Element sample pack with any purchase at drinkelement.com slash bison and try the new Element Sparkling, a bold 16 ounce can of sparkling electrolyte water. Well, got the hot wire back going. I know it's gonna be a challenge, uh, but we'll see how it goes and hopefully we don't have any major blowouts again. Uh, we knew we were gonna face some of these issues, but hopefully they're learning and adapting. And don't forget, we're using, we're trying this on adults. It'd be much easier if we were doing this on calves or some yearlings, it'd be much easier to train them, but that's how it is. And I think they're, I think they're gonna adjust. It's just gonna take some time and some patience uh, for sure uh, when dealing with hot wire, but I know it can be done because there's lots of bison ranchers out there that are currently doing it and for our regenerative grazing It'll be great. So also did I mention Marissa and I will we'll keep you posted on this But Marissa and I just started a new challenge and it is the carnivore diet No, I'm not and don't need a diet, but we're focused on eating better and stuff So I'm just putting that out there. We have started it along uh, with the Armstrong Mahone said, my brother-in-law and sister, uh, DJ, and then, uh, you know, there's some people, some of our friends, um, Cody and Erica, they're uh, Bar 7 Ranch, they're mostly on TikTok and Instagram, but they started this challenge a long time ago, and it kind of started getting on our minds a little bit. We've been wanting to eat healthier and challenge ourselves to just a little healthier living, a little healthier eating, and so uh, we have started the carnivore diet been a lot of eggs and a lot of meat <laughs> let's just say it. good thing is we got eggs right here from the ponderosa we got a lot of bison meat but uh we're combining with a lot of a lot of other stuff but mostly mostly meat and mostly eggs so guys if you haven't done it yet and you want to be a part of raising the american bison subscribe to us you can follow us along a small family ranch located in sulfur oklahoma raising the american bison thank you guys for watching us we'll see you guys soon keep on bison ranching